This is What's AI, and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. Machine learning and deep learning algorithms are mainly based on statistics, matching new unseen data to the ones we already learned from, which is why there are two typical problems when you train a neural network for a deep learning application. We will take the example of a classifier in this video, but these problems apply to all types of machine learning tasks. The first one is called underfitting, where your model is too simple to represent your data. For example, you want to classify dogs and cats, but you only show one cat and multiple types of dogs. Then, when the model will see a cat it hasn't seen before, it may classify it as a dog since your model assumes that all the cats are exactly like the ones you trained it on. Then your model does not represent the real dataset, being more simple than the reality. The other main problem is the opposite. It is called overfitting, where your model is too complex to represent your data. If you take the same example, where you want to create a classifier separating dogs and cats, and you keep the training running until all your examples are identified correctly. An accuracy of 100% is often too good to be true. While it looks great, it will often result in a bad real-world application accuracy where your network will be confident in the wrong answer. You are not allowing much more diversity in new data compared to what your model has already seen before. Meaning that even if you show a cat that looks like one in your training dataset, if it's not exactly the same, it may misclassify it because of a small difference, resulting in a poor classification rate with new datasets. There are multiple ways to prevent overfitting and underfitting. The goal here is to find the middle for both variance and bias lowering the generalization error. Using cross-validation is a great way to prevent overfitting where you use your initial training data to generate multiple mini train and test splits to tune your model, as well as training directly with more data or perform early stopping, where you stop the training before it overfits your data, and etc. While underfitting can be prevented by well identifying your problem and its complexity, increasing the size or number of parameters of your model. All the techniques discussed will be explained in further videos, Leave a like if you learned something, and since there are over 90% of you guys watching that are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any further terms clearly explained. If you want to support the channel, I now have a Patreon linked in the description where you can do that.